Mark, look, disappointing result, no doubt. Disappointing that the unbeaten run comes to an end. Your thoughts after today's game? Um, I, I just think we didn't deal with um, key moments of the game well enough early. Just uh, people switching off. Um, we talked about the threats that they've got in the wide areas and, and playing off Bowman. And unfortunately, we, you know that we didn't deal with them at key times. But you know they are, they've had. Only three shots on target, it's got three goals. So, you know, we, you know, we've got to take the positives out of the game. We, you know, we, we looked we looked a threat in going forward so on the counter, which we've not had in the past. So, yeah, we, we can take the positives out of it, but we've got to learn and we've got to, we've got to bounce back on Tuesday. I'll further some of those points that you've made in, in due course. Just just on the second half in particular, it's absolutely no doubt that Exeter City really mounted the pressure on you defensively. Is it fair to say that that pressure told? Yeah, I think so. I thought we, in the second half, we actually started the brighter team, uh, but didn't, didn't capitalise on our, you know, on our pressure that we had. But yeah, they, they did cause pressure. We ended up dropping a bit deeper and deeper. And then, then they obviously... If, it's important that we we defend better as a team and individually. And unfortunately, we didn't do that, and that's where the goals came from. So yeah, we, we'll you know we'll, we'll make sure we watch back and 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 learn from from what we haven't done well enough today, and, and hopefully put that right on Tuesday. I know you're a, a, a management duo that that pride yourself on the defensive structure. It's been the foundation to the unbeaten run that you've been on for so long. Is that then the most disappointing factor of today? That really defensively, at times, you you maybe had some lapses in concentration that we've not really seen from you under this uh, interim charge that you've you've had over Bradford City. Um, yeah, obviously, I'm disappointed in the manner the goal conceded, but you know, it's, it's, we've got new personnel in the team, and it's, it starts from the front and. You know, we just didn't look, you know, as compact as we have been in in, in the past. But you know, we, we'll we'll improve on that, and we'll just make sure that that when when the pressure does come, um, we're able to deal with it, especially individually, because you know, just just some individuals at times, key moments, like I said, just mm. just, just switched off, and you know, good teams like Exeter to punish you. You talk about those learning experiences I realise that this is still very fresh and you'll of course go away and reflect on the game and, and look at it in more detail but but initially thoughts wise what do you think you'll be able to learn as a side off the back of today's result um, I think we'll, we'll learn where in, especially in transition where, where our new players can uh, kind of positions they look to pick up so we can, that we can find them quicker or, or the types of runs they look to make so we'll, we'll be able to learn in the attacking uh, sense but defensively it, you know we've we've got to learn from from kind of when there's that much pressure on us and mm. and the, the strength of, of, of Bowman which you know we, we kind of didn't deal with well enough especially off the second balls you know the, these these key moments within games which we you know, we were aware of, but unfortunately, we just didn't, didn't deal with it later on, like you said, when the pressure came. Talk us through the changes uh, that you made. In particular, a first appearance for, for Niall Canavan, taking the place of Finn Cousin Dawson. Why did you feel that that was necessary? Um, I, I, they were causing problems down, down the left-hand side, our right-hand side, so that their left-hand side, sorry. So, yeah, we, we decided to make the change. Um, and obviously, Niall presence at Airy League he was able to deal with, with, with Bowman at times um, and obviously we've considered from, from a set player so that was always a worry um, so you know, they're, they're the reasons why we made the change uh, for uh, Niall to come on and, and Finn to come off How big a learning experience will today's game be for Finn who has been exceptional really at the start of his Bradford City career for you right, uh, lately Yeah it's, 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 a, it's been a big learning curve for Finn I think you know it's He's played a lot of games at, at this level, so it's you know there's always going to be a dip in a dip in form. You know if it's if it's not physically, it might be mentally. Um, you know, and I thought that one or two times Finn did switch off, and that you know, and, and that they got in down that side. So we just kind of protected Finn in a way. Um, but I'm, Finn's the kind of character who will, will be disappointed, and he'll he'll you know do everything in his powers to 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 try and be in the squad again. Mm, absolutely. Um, three changes made by you from the outset. Uh, injury based, we know for Billy Clark. What were the situations with Danny Rowe and Gareth Evans? Uh, Rowe um, woke up with a bit of a cold, so we couldn't take the risk uh, with Rowe. Um, obviously, travelling all this way, um, he he had a COVID test, and it, you know it's just come back 
just just now saying it's negative, so that that that's uh, that's positive in terms of that. Um, and then Evo just just had a slight knock, so we just um, didn't, didn't didn't bring Evo to today. With Roe in isolation, do you have to take every precaution when you make that call because of the COVID climate that we're in, or take COVID out of the situation? Was the cold too much on him to play anyway? I'm just trying to understand that that dynamic. Yeah, it, obviously it was it, it obviously ill, but he, he was obviously it took it out of him. He was it was it was drained his body, so you know it just wasn't well enough to play. It wasn't that we just just because of you know. Uh, if he woke up with a bit of cold, but obviously with the COVID situation, that the club are doing everything to to make sure that it doesn't doesn't pass on to others. So going on five hour coach journey um, is not not going to help anybody. So yeah, you know we had to make that decision for, for the best for for the club and for for, for Rowie. Um, but he's, he's recovering well and hopefully he'll be back in back in on Monday. You went with Charles Vernon and Ollie Crankshaw for full debuts, both scoring. Let's talk about the positives then. That must be really encouraging for you to see what they can do so early on in their City careers. Yeah, obviously we knew the strengths that they'd been to the team. That's why we signed them. So, uh, you know, obviously Charles can play in, in, in different positions. He's, he's obviously he's probably strengths are more out wide, but he's done a job for the team. Um, essentially, and you know, I thought he did well. He linked play well at times. He he threatened him behind, and you know, he, you know, he offered a different threat than than what a, a Rowe or a, or a, you know a Lee would, would bring. So yeah, we, we were after we all Charles did, and and, and Ollie, Ollie, we you know did what he does well. He mm. he gets at his at his man. He picks up the ball deep. He he, he makes runs in behind, and he was a real threat. Um, you know, and obviously got his rewards for how hard he worked out of possession and, and got his goal. Given Danny Rowe's uh, omission from the side because of the cold and, of course, Lee Novak's injury, was there a temptation at all to go with Clayton Donaldson, who, of course, is a recognised out-and-out striker to suit that formation uh, instead of Charles Vernon? Uh, Vernon sorry. Yeah, it's something that, that, that we, we spoke about. Um, we thought that, that later on in the game, Clayton would, would make a big of impact, um, obviously. So, But, you know, we, we'll, we'll have to assess that and, and go but there's obviously just there's not just uh, Clay there's obviously Cookies picked up a knock so you know and so obviously Lee situation so there's you know from having four or five, five forwards to think about you know we've gone to kind of one or two so you know we, we had to make that decision and we, we went with that and obviously first half it showed that the threat that Charles can have in behind um, and you know just obviously later on in the game we did make the change to bring Clayton on and I thought he did make an impact of what, what we wanted but obviously the scoreline was different then from, and you know we just had to adapt from there Just on the injuries to Andy Cook and Gareth Evans do you at all have a time scale on those as to how long they'll be out for? Um, yeah the, the, the both, the both um, will be assessed on, on, on Monday um, we were hoping that both be, be available for, for Tuesday's game so that that's that, you know, it's not a serious injury. It just picks up slight knocks, and um, you know, we just had to make sure that they're hundred percent going into into the busy period because there's so many games coming up. Yeah, positive news. Final question, Mark, before we let you go, and it does feel like such a simple question to ask you, given that it's your first taste of defeat uh, since coming into the position initially as caretaker and now as interim. But how big a test will this be of you and of Connor to respond after the defeat with the game coming around so quickly on Tuesday? Um, I think you know we, it's our job to make sure that the, the players respond in the right way, and you know that that. I don't think I don't see it as a as a test for, for for me and Connor. It's something that that we've you know we haven't faced yet with with this team, but we know that the characters are in the in the building. They know, they know how we work, and they know that we'll we'll make sure that we look at what we need to improve on and 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 react in a positive way. You know, we've, we're not worried or anything like that. It's just just making sure that the players perform on Tuesday.